I made this bag in under two hours and so can you. I'm going to be using this super soft and super bulky yarn that is made of a cotton tube with polyester fiber and also scissors. So we're going to start off with making a slip knot. Take your short tail and hold it in your right hand and then put it underneath the longer one, just like so. And then take your two fingers and we're going to take out this yarn and make a slip knot. Here's our slip knot and now we're going to make six chains. In order to do so, we're going to use our two fingers and then we're going to take our longer yarn and pull it out just like so. You can see a letter V right here and it is our first chain. So now we have to make five more chains and just repeat this after me. So now we have two V's, so two chains. And in total we have to make six. Here's three, four, So now we've made six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this loop right here, we're going to turn it to the left, just like so. And now we're going to insert our fingers into this loop right here. So it is one, two, three, four, five. Fifth chain and take out our yarn and make a loop just like so. And to control the height of these loops, I prefer using my two fingers and I'm just doing like so. So to make sure that their height is the same. Now let's continue making our next loop. Here's the next chain and I'm just taking it out. And control the height by using my fingers. And now the next chain is right here. And the next one is here. And now we have to make the last one on this side here. So here we have our six loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then turn it like so. And here we have to make a knot, just like so. We can see our last loop we've made right here. And we're going to use the same hole and insert our fingers and make a loop. and just control so that their height would be the same. Now let's find the next loop and here's this place that we need to insert our two fingers and take out our yarn. And then here's the next one. Don't forget to control their size. And now the next one right here. So here's the next one. And now we're going to make our last loop on this row right here. So here's what we have at this point. Six pairs of loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And now we are ready to move on to our second row. Here's the last stitch that we've made. You can see it right here. And now we're going to make the next row by inserting our two fingers in this loop and take it out just like so. And don't forget to control the size of the loop. And now we're moving on to our next loop right here. So we're taking our giant yarn and making our loop. So I prefer to hide the seam as you can see by just turning the yarn and then controlling the height of my loop. So here you can see we have one V and the next one is a loop. So we're making our second row just like so. Just continue making our second row. Here we have three loops. Now we're making our fourth. Like that. And there's our fifth and sixth. Here's our sixth stitch. Just repeat the same move at this point. So here it is. We finished this side and now we're going to turn our work and work on this side. So here's our yarn. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So just like that. Here we've made our next loop. Moving on to the next stitch. So continue making the same thing. So insert your fingers in these loops and I'll meet you right here where we'll finish our second row. So I've made it to the end of the row. As I told you before, I've just made these stitches and here's the last stitch that I'm going to make. So you can see here's the little V and the loop and this one doesn't have the V yet. So I'm taking my yarn and just pulling it out like so. And now I finished making my second round. And we can see that on these two sides we'll always have six loops. So we can count them one, two, three, four, five, six. And the same thing on this side. And now we're going to start making our third row. So take your yarn and move on to the stitch. And now we're moving on to the next stitch right here. So we're moving counterclockwise. As you can see on our third row, we can see that if we pull it out just like that, we can see one, two Vs and our next loop right here. So now continue making your third row. And don't forget to hide the seams and control the height of your loops. Here's my last stitch on this side and I'm doing the same thing. At this point your work is gonna curl and uh, don't be confused by that, it is absolutely fine. So I finished making my six loops right here on this side and now I'm going to move on to this side and make the same thing. So here's my yarn, I'm going to wrap it like this and take my yarn out. And now I'm moving on to the next stitch right here. From now on continue making your stitches and work your third round by inserting your fingers and taking out your yarn on this loop, this and this until the end of the row right here and I'll meet you there.
So I'm currently near the end of my row. Here's the last stitch that I'm going to make. And you can see when I pull it out like this, I have one, two Vs and the last is third loop right here. So here's the last stitch of the third row. And I'm going to make this last stitch. Just like so. And you can see that when we're turning our work, here's the beginning of our fourth row. So as you can see by now, the last stitch of your row is always going to be this stitch and the beginning of the next row is going to be this stitch. And we're always working counterclockwise. So we are starting from this stitch and just work through these stitches and then start another row, just like so. Now we have to start our fourth row just like that. And at this point it is quite repetitive and just work your rows until the point that you want to stop. So I'm currently working on my fourth row and I'm out of my ball of yarn and I wanted to quickly show you guys how do I connect the second ball of yarn. Here's my second ball and I've stopped at this stitch right here as you can see the short tail so now I'm moving on to the next stitch here and I'm going to take my new ball of yarn and take out and make my first stitch and now I'm going to make the second one so here are my two stitches and now the short tail right here, I'm going to tie a knot with this short tail. And now we're going to take out this outer, I don't know, skin, <laughs> outer layer of the yarn and cut off this part. And the same thing on this short tail. Just take out and cut it off on the second tail. And we're going to tie another knot to secure the first knot. And that's how you secure it. These tails, you can hide them on this side of your work because this is a wrong side. So just do it like so and that's how you hide it and do the same thing on this tail you can weave in in any stitch that you want actually but it's just my preference to hide it like that and now continue working with your next ball of yarn just like so. So here's my last stitch and now I'm moving on to the next one. One more thing that I wanted to mention is that your work is going to curl this way and it is absolutely fine because this is the wrong side and we're going to pull out our right side later. And when you're turning to the other side, when you're finished with this side and turning to this one, make sure that the stitch is tight. So we're making the back this rectangle shape. So don't make this stitch loose. So just like this is this part I'm mentioning. Make sure that it is not loose and it is the same size as other stitches because there's a tendency to make this part looser especially in the beginning of the back so like in first, second and third row later on you'll find it uh, easier to make these rows because you can see more defined structure of the back so just continue working your rows to the height of the back that you desire and I'll show you when I stopped So I'm currently at this point 
where I am ready to take out my right side out. And before doing that, I am going to hide this tail. And in order to do so, I am going to take out this cotton part. Just like so, and cut it off. And now this part you can hide in between your stitches. And now we are going to turn a right side out. So I'm going to push the inside just like that. Just fix your stitches on your last row. Now I'm going to show you how many stitches I've got on my back. You can see here the beginning of the V. Here's one V and here's the other one. So here's the first row. So we can count one, two, three, four, five, six. And here's the seventh row. So I've stopped right here and this is the last stitch of the seventh row. We can check it by counting the stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the same thing on the next stitch we can count and we should have seven stitches also. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now that we've finished our seventh row, we're going to instead of making eighth row we're going to make a border. So here's the last stitch of my seventh row. I'm going to measure the yarn that I'm having, just putting around the back like this. And I have this much yarn left, so this length is fine for me. So here's the first stitch of the eighth row. I'm going to take my yarn and leave this loop right here. And all the next loops I'm going to just insert them this way. Now the next loop is just the same. So as you can see, this is how it should look like right now. And from this point continue putting your short tail into these stitches. And I'll meet you in the end of the round, right here. So I'm almost near the end of my border. And you can see that all the loops have this yarn until this point, which was the first loop. And I'm going to insert my yarn into that loop. So here how it looks like and we will we'll make it tighten so that the top of our bag would be smaller. And you can modify the shape however you want. So I just want it to be wider here but uh, tighter on the top so that's why I'm doing this move to make the back tighter on the top so I've decided that this width is fine for me and now we're ready to move on to making our back straps. So this tail of yarn right here, that where we finished making our border of our back, we're going to cut it because this part is not useful for me and not enough to make a back strap. So I'm just going to cut it. Now we are ready to make our back straps. So I'm taking my new ball of yarn with the short tail right here. And here's the last loop that we finished our border. And now we're going to imitate this line of V's 
and making our back strap starting from this point. Take your yarn and put it behind your work and pull out the stitch right here. And now continue making the same thing. So we are making chains. As you can see we are making the continuation of this row and just continue making chains until your desired length. And don't forget to turn and hide your seams like that. Before finishing the strap I wanted to show you guys how to tie the knot between these two short tails. This is the tail of the border of the bag and this is the tail of our back strap. So I'm doing the usual thing that I showed you before. Just take out this cotton part and cut it off. And the same thing on this tail right here. And now just secure it with double knot. And this tail you can hide in between the stitches. And then continue making your back strap. So I've made 15 chains in total and I think that I'm satisfied with this length and I'm going to stop right here. So now I'll find the center of this side of the back, so I would find the place where to connect my strap. And here's the start of the strap, and I'm just counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here's the stitch that we're going to connect with the strap. Now I will cut off my yarn, I'm just leaving the tail about so. It doesn't really matter, but don't leave it too short but not too long also so it's approximately so and here's the last loop of my back strap i'm going to take my yarn and pull it just like that and i will connect this back strap with the stitch right here so here's my braid or the letter v i'm going to take my yarn and do it like that so we are replicating the V pattern so here's how you secure it make sure to hide the seam and I think I'm liking how the back strap looks like so now I'm going to hide it in the inside of my back just like that and then I'm going to go through another stitch. And then I'm going to take out this cotton part. And then this part we're going to cut it in a half. So you can see that seam right here and I'm going to go and follow that line. Now I'm going to take one side of it and move to another stitch like that and now I'm going to make double knot to secure it. So here's one knot and the second one. And now these tails just hide it inside of your stitches in your bag. So I'm just hiding it inside of these pearl stitches that are locating in the inside of my bag. So now you have a bag or two. Okay, bye!